What's up, everybody? It's easy. Got a, got a cool little thing that happened in the clan today. There's all kinds of glitches that happen in the game, but this one right here, I've never seen before. This happened with V. Yeah, he put up his he put up a friendly challenge. As soon as he did, I don't know if he wanted to change it or he wanted to put it in a different base, but he put it up. But when he did, the second friendly cha challenge went up. So we actually had two friendly challenges up at the same time. So we missed it the first time to record it. So it happened again. He was able to put up two again. So we tried to attack both at one time. <clears throat> so here I am with Little Easy. So this is gonna be this is not gonna be pretty. Uh, Little Easy's in no no condition to attack V's base. But had Sable attacking at the same time. So we have a Town Hall 9 and a Town Hall 8, both trying to attack it. And the base was up twice. So we were able to attack it once with the Town Hall 8 and simultaneously attack it with the Town Hall 9. So I've, I've never seen that. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Leave a comment down below. Uh, so, you know, there's all kinds of glitches in the game. Like like anything, any computer system, you can have uh, you can have minor little setbacks or minor glitches, and and that's what this is. I I, I don't know how it could happen. Uh, we just thought that it's unusual, so we decided to record it. Now. Also, in this same video, though, we also have a couple really good attacks that we've been working on. Um, since the update, the air attacks have been so strong. We're, we're trying. We're going to in the next two weeks. We'll probably ha put out ten videos on La Loon, uh, the Gola Loon, all all the different Loon attacks because they are probably the strongest attack in the game right now. And uh, we just finished our first series, which was the intro to Clash. It took us about a month to make it. It was only 10 videos, but we had a bunch of other videos come out in, uh, in the middle of it all. So yeah, there it is, 28%. Good job, uh, Little Easy. You suck at that. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have a bunch of La Loon uh, attacks coming out. Uh, a couple guys for Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, and Town Hall 10. Uh, we don't know about the 11 yet. Maybe even that. I don't know. Uh, then, we also have a couple of attacks that we've been developing in our clan. We call it the Flex and now the Wicked Flex. And we're going to put a, put a, a couple more guys out on that as well. These are awesome attacks. If you if you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely watch the end of the video. Uh, we have the Laloon first, and then we have the Wicked Flex coming up second and third. And you'll see how powerful these attacks are. It's just it's fantastic. If you know how if you know how to use the troops right, then uh, you'll be able. You, I mean, you'll be able to three star pretty much. If you're a Town Hall Nine, you can three star any Town Hall Nine with it. It's one of those types of attacks. There, it's not one of those risky attacks either. Laloon's a little risky. You, uh, anyone who uses the 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 balloon attacks, you know that balloons are squishy. So if you don't if you don't get off the attack right. You're risking a one star. Okay, so here's the first attack. This is going to be the La Loon. It's from Bungle. I don't know if that's how you say it. Bungle Bungly. He's kind of new in the clan. He just came in a couple days ago. Um, one of the uh, up and coming hopeful guys that we have that has shown tons of promise. Um, he, he's been doing a lot of uh, research and studying all the different attacks and this is the, one of the ones that he's been watching videos on and uh, just watch how awesome this attack is for him this is the, the a quad lava loon he brings three lava hounds and then he brings one more in the clan castle and the, the best way to use this attack is you'll you'll start off by putting two lava hounds on the first air defense you put one lava hound on the second air defense and usually you'll you'll try to get the balloons on top of the first air defense before either one of the lava hounds pop so then you'll have two lava hounds going to the second air defense so you'll have three lava hounds on it total and then you'll kind of follow those lava hounds around to the second to the third and fourth air defense by that time you're at the end of the base um this attack lasted uh, probably about a minute that's how fast it is that's that's one of the things about la, la loon is it is a Fast and furious attack when it goes off right the, the basis drops real quick So gr great attack the great up-and-coming player 
Ooh, that's his first time on uh, on the channel. So this next attack, these next two attacks are actually we call it the Wicked Flex. Um, and if, if you don't know what the attack is, it's got two walks. It's got uh, this particular attack. It has a Queen walk, and it also has a Witch walk. And y you don't see a lot of Witch walks out there at, yet, but you're going to. I promise you that. Uh, you'll you'll st you'll start seeing them more in the next couple months as some of the bigger players discover how well they work, and uh, as soon as some of the big players catch on to it, and, and you'll see it on their chan channels, you'll see everyone start using it. Uh, now you you see the bowler walks are real popular. Uh, now the witch walk isn't quite like a bowler walk. They're not the witches are not as strong as bowlers. They're not you know you get them in town hall nine, and you can kind of tell how strong a troop is by what town hall you get them. Bowlers are Town Hall 10 troops. They're made for Town Hall 10s and above. The Witches are made for Town Hall 9 and above. So they're not quite as strong as Bowlers, but because they keep spawning the skeletons, they they have this they 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 got this tanking embedded in them that they can just they last and last and last. They just don't have that punch that the Bowlers have. But either way, you start you do a Witch walk on part of the base. You do a Queen walk on the other part of the base, and the the goal is you'll start in two corners. And you'll work your way around the outside of the base with the two walks and then go into the core with Giants, Wizards, and Valkyries. And all the numbers are just changed from, from player to player and base to base depending on the preference and what you have to deal with inside the base. So you'll see that the core of this didn't stand a chance. It went right down pretty quick. You have the Witches that are up top and they're working their way down around towards the back side of the base. The Queen is still up in the, in the bottom right hand part of the base. Um, she got held up by the by this uh, wizard by the hell was it the crossbow for a bit. Notice that <laughs> kind of odd thing. Did a war attack earlier, and I didn't know this, but I went head to head with I had a level twenty queen with three healers on her. She was almost fully full health. I already used the ability. And one max crossbow locked on her and took her all the way down to zero health within about seven seconds. So I did not know that one max crossbow is stronger than three healers. I, I, for some reason, I've missed that up until today. I was not very happy about that either, for the record. Can't, I, I, don't, I don't like one star in war with an established attack. On something that just baffled me. I, I had a head-to-head -head, queen with three healers versus one max crossbow and she came out short. It was baffling. I'm not gonna keep bitching though. <laughs> Alright, this attack, same attack. Um, this first one was from Sable. This one's too easy. This one right here is actually a dead Town Hall 10. And uh... Didn't have all. It's not a fully upgraded Town Hall 10, but there's a lot of Town Hall 10 uh, defenses. That, uh, the crossbows of Town Hall 10, but I don't think they were active. I think that's why I got through this base so easily. It was a, it was a pretty good find. I think it was about a million in resources, uh, three or four thousand Dark Elixir, and I don't usually expect a three star on Town Hall 10s with a Town Hall 9, even with a good attack. You can do it, but I don't expect that. So when I got through this base here, I was I was a little, surpri a little surprised. Even even the dead bases. Uh, you know, you have all all max defenses. You know that means you have these max cannons. If you if the base is well designed, and you triangulate three max cannons, they will take down a, uh, a, a troop even underneath the heels the healers. So uh, I was happy happy with the the attack itself is just strong, and the, you know the witches that they, they held their own. I don't think any of the witches died. I started off with three. I think all three made it through the attack. The queen made her way around the oh, the entire outside of the base. Uh, we had to use her ability halfway through, but she made it through the whole base or so all the way to the backside. So that was pretty good. Had uh, a couple of Valkyries that were in the core that made it through the whole base. So when you have uh, several troops that make it through the whole base uh, from start to finish, you know th these troops were spawned right when there was five percent of the base gone. So there was ninety-five percent of the base left, and they've made it all the way through to the end. That's pretty good. So, wanted to show these attacks just because uh, these are these are really good attacks. So you're gonna see a lot of footage on it on our channel. 
um, whenever, whenever we, we're working on several other attacks right now, we're working on a baby loon attack, we're working on some other stuff with the baby dragons, and uh, as we come out with really good tactics on it, we'll, we'll put them on the channel. But uh, th these are two attacks that I really like. Uh, the La Loon, it, this, that's not a new attack. That's been around. That's that's been around ever since Lava Hound came out. So that's been around for a long time. The, the Wicked Flex may go by other names and other clans. It's new for us, and it's it's been a real pleasure to, to use it. Um, it's I've had my ups and downs with it using it more, but when I use it farming, it's it's been blowing these bases away. It's a little expensive, so it's not really what you want to use if you're dark elixir hunting. But when I'm I when, when I'm out um, when I'm out just farming. I try to go for big bases. I try to find bases that have that have 400,000, 500,000 each, four or five thousand dark elixir. So you can pretty much attack with any army when you're going for these big, huge bases. And uh, something I suggest, and this is something that I would always suggest if you are a war clan, and this is for the leaders out there. If you're a, if you have a war clan, suggest you guys to use their war troops when they go and resource hunt. So because if you farm with your war troops. You have a lot more practice with them, and then when it comes time for war, you d you're not using troops that you're not used to using. So it's a it's, it's kind of important to go out there, especially the day of or the day before the war. Go out there and farm with those war troops. You'll really appreciate it in the long run. All right, end of the video. Uh, do easy a favor, like the video, sub to the channel. We're trying to get a hundred subs. We're a new channel, and. Uh, Getting that first hundred is real hard, so we're trying to get up to 100 subs. So if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, do, do that for me. Sub to the channel, like the video. Uh, Till next time, it's been easy. Everyone take care.